Hello everybody, this is HMB Little Man here, welcome to TW 2016 2K16 Mod W Save. We're here booking the first day of the Cruiserweight Classic. We have 32 matches of the 64-man tournament. We have two angles. It is spilling onto the pre-show. I realized how awful this idea was pretty quickly after I started booking it in the game. So I got a lot of short matches and this show is going to do awful. Anyway, here is the tournament bracket. Place your bets. Who will end up with the Cruiserweight Championship and the Cruiserweight Classic Cup? Because the winner gets the Cruiserweight Championship and the Cup. This is going to be an annual thing. And the runner-up will get a number one contendership, will become the number one contender for the United States Championship, and they will fight Cesaro at Hell in a Cell. So with that, let's go ahead and begin. Yes, it's going to do awful. 36D minus, wonderful start. Garrett Bischoff defeated David Finley. Finley had a performance of 25, Bischoff had 42. Another 36D minus. Or maybe the other one got was different. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, Andrade Cien Almas defeated Aaron Solo. They have great chemistry and it showed in their performance. Did it. Did it really now. This is, oh my god, such a stupid decision of mine. Aaron Solo had 20. Cien had 44. 42D, getting better. Brian Kendrick defeated Cedric Alexander. Brian Kendrick had, they both had 39. 48 D plus. We're getting, we're getting better by the segment. Solomon Crow defeated Jimmy Havoc. Solomon Crow had 49. Jimmy Havoc d had 31. 40 D minus. Getting worse. Ultimo Dragon defeated Scott Parker. Uh, Dragon had 33. Scott Parker had 38. 50 D plus. That's good. Bobby Fish defeated Oni Larkin. Or whatever. Uh, Bobby Fish stood out. Fish had a performance of 65, only had 24, 25, or 64 what Bobby Fish had. Uh, 58 C minus. Wow, that's good. Kushida defeated Shane Matthews. Shane Matthews had a performance of 41. Kushida had 59. 46 D. Kyle O'Reilly defeated Peter Avalon. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly had 53. Peter Avalon had 17. In the first match of the show, 25E, I mean, really, Hideo Tommy defeated Matt Cross, Hideo had 20, or 76, Matt Cross had 36. I know that's an outdated picture of Matt Cross, but shush. 66C+, plus, that's good, Christopher Daniels defeated ACH, ACH had a performance of 53, Daniels had 64. Just realized I might be going a little too fast. I'm going to slow it down a bit. But we do have 34 segments to get through. Another 66C+. Plus. Uh, Austin Aries defeated Cheeseburger. Yes, he is, in fact, in this. Uh, Austin Aries had 77. Cheeseburger had 31. Also, someone... That dog is making a lot of noise back there. Someone... I forget who at the moment, but someone picked up Cheeseburger as their uh, protege. So, there's that. 63C, Evan Bourne defeated Jesse Sorensen. Evan Bourne had a performance of 68, Jesse Sorensen had 40. 67C+, plus. Kazarian defeated Paul London. Paul London had 47, Kazarian had 71. 64C, Neville defeated Facade. Facade, he is the first... Uh, indie worker I've ever seen live. It's a true story. Went to a show, he was on the opener. Sad had 24, Neville had 77. 63C, Jushin Thunder Lager defeated Rocky Romero. Lager had 51, Rocky had 62. Uh, seems as if the wrong man might have won that one. 24E, Chad Gable defeated Trent. Gable had 50, Trent had 60. Man. 38D minus. Will Osprey defeated Adam Page. Osprey had 28. Ooh. Page had 38. 
Oh. Oh. 16F plus. <laughs> Got the plus. Alex Kozlov defeated Angel, who was the former Angelico. Angel had 36, Alex Kozlov had 37. Oh. Oh. <sighs> 17F plus. Saber, who was a former Zack Saber Jr., defeated Petey Williams. Saber had 38, Petey had 39. Oh my god. F plus. 16. Reese, or Mike Seidel defeated Ricky Reese. Seidel had 24, Reese had 43. 22 E plus, we're getting back up there. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Gargano Champ, or. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Johnny Gargano. Ciampa had 40. Gargano had 53. 64C getting back up there. Sami Zayn defeated El Ocal. El Ocal had 33. Sami Zayn had 71. 65C. Roderick Strong defeated Rich Swan. Is it Rich or Rick? I don't even know. Roderick Strong had 72? Wow, Rich Swan had 41. 58C, Loki defeated Caprice Coleman. Loki had 60, Caprice had 41. Oh, there's a puppy outside my room. Hi, puppy. You wanna come here, puppy? It does not. It is backing up quite rapidly. Next. 65C, Kalisto defeated Lo Cholo. Kalisto had 71, Lo Cholo had 40. 62C, Rey Mysterio defeated Sanjay Dutt. Rey had 62, Sanjay had 52. 55C minus, Marty Skrull defeated Sin Cara. Sin Cara had 68, Marty Skrull had 32. 50D plus, that's not good. Kota Ibushi defeated AR Fox. AR Fox had 47, Kota had 41. Hi, puppy. Yeah, no, it, it wants nothing to do with me. 71C plus, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston with Big E make their entrances for their matches. 60C, Kofi Kingston defeated Shannon Moore, and they don't click. Kofi had 62, Shannon had 43. 68C plus, wow. Xavier Woods defeated Rat Titus. Woods had 70, Titus had 54. 45D, Tajiri defeated Amazing Red. Tajiri had 34, Amazing Red had 46. 72B minus, a video airs looking at the success of the cruiserweights throughout the years, including Chris Jericho and Rey Mysterio. And in the main event, 78B, Chris Sabin defeated Dolph Ziggler. Saban had 79. Ziggler had 75. Nice. Penalized for short match length and it was 13 minutes. Oh god. 66C plus. You know what? That's... I'm gonna accept that. I think that's... That's... Good enough. Oh my god. What an awful idea. Can't believe I went through with it, to be honest. Like, ugh. So hey, while we're waiting for this to load, here is the updated tournament bracket. As you can see, the people who, uh, won, moved on to the next part. Clearly. Uh, coming back to this place, uh, a lot of people leaving. Because I signed them for one-day deals. You know what I just realized? Okay. Because I was initially going to have... Uh, internet unhappy. Finley opinion. Facade is turning into a worker. The kid is worth getting behind. You could have told me that prior... Okay. Adam Schur and Frankie Gazarian have been getting on very well recently. Hmm. Adam Schur in case you don't know, is Braun Strowman. Hmm. 
Uh, is there at least... Okay, so there is at least... Well, 16, 15, 14. 14 people gone from WWE. Okay, so we got a lot of people unhappy with the way that went. Ugh. What, what have I done? Mike said... Oh yeah, Mike Sidell has an appearance left. That's right. Ugh. I can't believe... Ugh. So get ready for day two tomorrow. <laughs> what have I done?